Online coaching has exploded in recent years and so have online coaching apps and more specifically apps that help you coach your clients, give them training programs or workouts, do check-ins with them and also check their health stats. These apps can really help you coach your online clients and really give them structure to their training. But there are so many to choose from with varying features, usability and also prices. I'm always hearing of new apps coming to the market and it seems to be not slowing down anytime soon. But which app would be best suited for you in your online fitness business? In this video series, I'm going to dive in and do a full in-depth review of several of the online coaching apps that you could use. Diving into features, usability, pricing, connectivity, app access, and also support. I'll be sharing my screen and doing an in-depth review of the desktop version of the app to see whether this app would be the right fit for you to use in your online fitness business. Like I mentioned earlier this is going to be a video series so I'll be reviewing one app per video so if there is an app that you want to see be sure to check out my channel so let's dive straight in all right in this review video I'm actually going to dive into an app called HubFit and it was actually brought to my attention by one of my subscribers who wanted me to review it. So if there is an app that you don't see on my channel, then be sure to drop a comment below with the name of the app and I'll dive in and take a look at it and do a review video. So let's take a look at HubFit. Let's take a look at the features, the pricing, and then let's dive into the desktop app and then also look at the mobile app from a coach's perspective and also a client's perspective as well. So, so far, like the branding of it, HubFit, spend more time coaching, less time on admin. Again, we would, we could all benefit from a little bit of that. And looking at the user interface, looks pretty clean. Uh, looks like it's got a lot of features as well. So, so far, so good. Um, we can obviously build programs. Uh, we've got training, we've got check-ins, and we've got nutrition. So, I like that a lot of these apps now are adding nutrition in as well. Like, gone are the days of trying to, like, use my fitness pal, which is, we all know, is, is not the best, uh, or using other nutrition apps. Now, if you are heavily based or heavily coaching on nutrition, you may want to use a actual nutrition app. But again, we can do training and nutrition all in HubFit. So we've got community groups, which is pretty cool. So we can create a community group. We've got obviously integrations and wearables, and then also we can collect payments with Stripe, it looks like. We've also got habit coaching, which I like, questionnaires. And we've got automation, which I just love automation. It makes life so much easier. So we've got auto flow onboarding. And then we've also got Zapier integration as well. Uh, we can brand the app. We can manage a team. And then obviously we've got different features, which we can turn on and off, which is great. So if you don't want to overwhelm a client with loads of features, we could just turn certain things off so they don't have too much in the app. So obviously there is an app, which again looks pretty, uh, pretty good, available on Android and also Apple. And then obviously we've got some reviews um, from people here as well. All right, so let's take a look at the pricing. So in terms of pricing, we're at monthly. So $39, we have got a 14 day free trial. So you can dive in and check that out. So uh, up to 50 clients, which is pretty good. Like again, usually they scale a lot quicker. But you get up to 50 clients. Now, if you have 50 clients and you're charging the right price, you should be fully booked. So uh, you wouldn't have to spend more than $39. You get all the features apart from custom branding, auto flow and Zapier integration. So just bear that in mind. To do that, you'd have to go to premium, which is $59. And then you don't get community groups in those two either. So for $99, you get access to community groups where you can build a community like Facebook groups. So yeah, interesting that there's obviously they've taken some features away, but again, you could get started on the $39 and then as you build the business or you have lots of clients, you could upgrade and get some more features. So to the annual plan, obviously just reduces it down 33, 49 and 83, but you pay that all up front. All right, so let's dive into the app uh, on the desktop. So this is from a coach's perspective. So first impressions when I dive in, I really like it. Super simple, very clean. We've got recent clients, check-in progress, uh, recent check-ins, unread messages, and then tasks and reminders. So this can really just keep us organized. So if we come to the start of the week and we want to see kind of where our clients are up to, what check-ins we've done, what tasks and reminders. So we could just quickly click, click on this, add a task so we know what we need to be doing. And then we've got all of our messages here as well. And I know I say this a lot if you've watched a lot of my review videos, but having messages all in one place is super important. You don't want it on WhatsApp, SMS, email, Messenger. You want them... Especially for your clients, you want it all in the one app and you want to train them that that's how they get coached by you. I like seeing tasks and reminders. I haven't seen this before, actually, so this is pretty cool. 
you can obviously add a task in there to, to obviously make sure you follow up with clients or you check in and things like that. All right, so we move on to the client section. We can see here we've got a demo client. If I click into that demo client, we then get like an overview of that client. So we've got questionnaires, last check-in. We've got whether their integrations are connected. We can integrate with Fitbit, Apple Health, and Chronometer, which is a nutrition app. And then you've got client data as well. So weight, body fat. We've got notes, uh, goals, injuries, recent photos, and then their subscriptions and payments, and then their activity. So yeah, again, really, really like kind of uh, the simplicity of, of the kind of user interface, but also kind of how much is here. Like there's a lot going on, which is great, um, but it's not too overwhelming. So then you've got check-ins. Uh, so this is kind of the daily check-in, which you can obviously um, automate and send out. So you can kind of, uh, get kind of scores from them and keep them on track and, and really just monitor them. You've got the training. So we've got the training programs, which I'll dive into in a sec. You've got their nutrition plans, uh, which I'll also dive into. We've got habits. So we can obviously add habits. Auto flow. So this is where we can kind of like add events. Uh, so we can add a workout program. We can add resources. We can automate a message, automate an email, an in-app notification or a note. So again, what you could do is really coach ahead of time. So if you start seeing patterns with your clients, you may want to be like, okay, I know after the four week mark, they kind of fall off uh, the wagon a little bit. The wheels fall off. So I might send them a, a video, an education video or a habit video, or I might send them a note or an email. So you can start to really kind of coach without actually having to do it in real time. Got the gallery, so this is just the photos, metrics, and then the vault, and then settings as well. Um, so yeah, uh, obviously really kind of extensive client section, which is great. Um, let's dive into the training section. So if we click on this, uh, let's just see this is a pre-built um, and dive into it and see how it looks. So we've got all the exercises and the videos look like they're pretty, um, have a look at this video if we can play it no one let me play um but the videos look kind of all um unified and uniform so looks good and then you've kind of got the different videos you can kind of drag things in drop an exercise in add the sets the reps the weights so yeah pretty easy uh to use um and and i like it all right let's dive into nutrition so here we've got meal plans so we can add different meals and we've got options uh, which is great so again, like you can really coach your clients online with this, with obviously the training element and the nutrition. And uh, this is really, really good. Um, again, don't see this from a lot of apps, but definitely something that can help because as we all know, can't out train a bad diet. So uh, we've got meal AI as well, which is pretty cool. So we can obviously um, generate a meal by using AI. And then you've got the library as well. That you can choose from so that they're, they're integrating ai which some of the apps are starting to do um some of them are doing better than others but this is pretty cool that you can use um kind of meal ai there okay habits so we can add habits uh, again we've got library of habits so you would just obviously start to add or you've got these different ones like drink water or you can create your own uh, so this is pretty cool just to keep your clients on track and then i've dived into auto flow already so we can automate certain things with the coaching that's pretty cool there's a lot to go up there um and yeah you could use this you could really use hubfit to kind of run everything in, in your online business messages so we've got kind of the messaging portal dead simple we can send links we've got media files and then notes as well uh here and we can just kind of drop certain things in um, and have conversations with our clients so again dead easy to use and, and i like it packages so we can connect stripe and we can take payment through uh, Hubfit, which is great. I love Stripe. Uh, love it or hate it. I know the fees are a little bit higher, um, but again, it's super easy to use and uh, it's easy to connect so you can take payments. Community. So you obviously have to upgrade uh, to build a community. But this is just, they're saying it's a little bit like Facebook groups. So we can see here, uh, you can have challenges in there, um, anonymous members, inter inter interactions, familiar design, multimedia. Um, so again, if you wanted to kind of own your community you could definitely take it out of facebook i know a lot of online coaches do challenges and things like that so you could build kind of different challenge communities inside of hubfit teams so you can obviously add team members coaches admin assistants whatever you need you can add them obviously it comes with an increased price so just bear that in mind uh, same with the branding obviously upgrade to premium then you can brand the app how you want to look at your logo your color theme um and everything like that so customize the emails app packages, pricing with your logo and theme, 
uh, so you can offer a unique experience and increase client retention. So we've dived into training, we've done nutrition. Uh, let's take a look at form. So we've got kind of the weekly check-in, the daily check-in, and then we can add other check-ins in this here as well. Um, so like maybe a monthly uh, check-in. We've got questionnaires, so you may wanna create a questionnaire at the start of um, when you onboard a client so that you can obviously get all the information you need and you make sure like you can coach them in the first 30 days. The first 30 days are super important for a client. So yeah, obviously you want to gather all that information and keep it in here. We've got templates so we can use an initial questionnaire, par queue and a feedback form. So uh, HubFit have really done the heavy lifting here and give you a lot of kind of uh, templates and uh, default forms that you can use. Next, we've got habits, which we've dived into. We've got metrics, which they've just added. So you can obviously add different metrics. Uh, so we've got weight, body fat, BMI, all those. And again, HubFit give you all the examples. Exercises, so we took a look at this, um, but let's just take a look at the video if we can see it. So it kind of loads like this. Um, and then, okay, so it's like generic um, YouTube videos, but again, uh, they all look pretty similar. Um, which is good. So you could you could create your own um, and upload those. Let's just see if we can do that. Yeah, so you can customize the video or add a YouTube link. But again, that's a lot of work. So don't recommend that, especially if you're just getting started. But if you've been in the game a long time and you want to add a little bit more value and do your own videos, then you could. Next, you've got Vault. So we can add resources. So we can add files, links, send these resources to our clients. Um, so again, good, um, good to have that there. So I'm just going to move me out the way to the top. And then we've got the onboarding flow. So we can add an onboarding flow. Um, and then in here, I assume we can just kind of start to add a uh, group of it together and use it when onboarding your clients to automate the process. So we can create automations just to make it really seamless and give that client a really good experience when they're coming into your business. So that's pretty cool. I do love automation. Um, again, it saves time and it also allows you to look professional and, and really kind of uh, on the ball. Next, we've got Zapier, so we can connect lots of different things to Zapier, which is great. Slack, MailChimp, um, Sign Now, things like that. So that's good. I'll always like to be able to integrate it to other apps, especially because if you're using another app, I use High Level a lot, so you might want to integrate it to High Level. All right, so yeah, pretty impressed. Love the user interface. Um, really like the uh, the features that it offers. Um, looks pretty extensive and and pretty simple to use as well. So let's look at the support. So we've got here, we've got kind of the support channel here by Intercom. This is pretty common. Um, and then we've obviously got kind of different collections and articles here. We've got live chat, so we can just send a straight message in if we need any help with anything. We've also got video tutorials here. So this is obviously HubFit's YouTube channel uh, where they're just giving you kind of all these um, kind of different uh, features that you can run through. So that's pretty useful to have um then got the help center so this is where there's going to be kind of uh, information and articles on how to do certain things which again is great to have just when you're first getting started and then they've got their instagram account there so yeah all in all um i, I really like hubfit looks great um super simple to use super clean interface and, and lots of really good features so let's just dive into the settings um there's no real settings here got different notifications so yeah all in all Pretty solid app, um, and I'm, I'm uh, surprised I've not seen it before, but obviously one of my subscribers did mention uh, in a comment just to see if I could review it. So yeah, if you want me to review anything else, drop it in the comments below. And now I'm gonna dive into the app on my iPhone, and I'll review it from a coach's perspective and then also a client's perspective as well, because we actually wanna see what the client sees and if it, if it looks professional. All right, so I'm over on the app, and the first thing to know is there isn't actually a coaching app on your phone. So this is just the client app. So this is what the clients will see. So you'll have to manage everything on your desktop, or you can go to your browser on your phone and just log in that way. So you can still access it on the go, um, but there just isn't a direct kind of coaching login um, for the app. So this is what the clients see. So first of all, uh, you've got your tasks and habits along the top. So I've just added in kind of drink water. If I just click plus, I can obviously then put in kind of um, how many cups I've had, and then just click add. So say five and then add, and, and that would add that in. 
um, as so. Then you've got the vaults, so the resources, so you can dive into that, and then collections, and then obviously notes and things like that. Then along the bottom, we've got the training. So I've got kind of a full body training workout in here. So I could click start workout, and then I can just obviously add my sets. I can click on the video um, and kind of go through the training program like that. So yeah, pretty simple to use, really nice user interface. Uh, if I just click out of this, um, you can kind of see, you can add different programs and things like that. Next, we've got the habit section. So we can see the different types of habits that we've done and things like that. Uh, and obviously we can monitor those. And then we've got the nutrition section. So I've added in a meal plan here so we can see kind of the different meals. If I click into the different meals, we've got kind of the macros uh, breakdown. Um, and then we've kind of got the oatmeal, protein powder, mixed fruits and stuff. So how to how to make that in a nice photo. So yeah, dead easy to use, nice um, kind of the way it looks um, and easy for clients to manage. And then we can just manage kind of got forms, metrics, our gallery, and then we can obviously enable notifications in there. So then messaging is on along the top. So we click the top right. I can just type a message in here um, and click send and that'll just send to the coach. Um, and obviously they can they can see that and have that two-way messaging. And then we've got notifications along the top as well. So all in all, yeah, I really like Hubfit. Um, really good features, really easy to use, really clean app, um, easy to kind of install and, and get going with it. The only thing I would say is obviously there's not an app for the coaches, but you can just go on your web browser and save that to your home screen and just load that up every time if you did to need if you did need to use it on the go. So yeah, all in all, pretty solid app. And if you're looking um, to, to obviously start online coaching or you're looking for kind of a simple app with lots of features, then definitely check out HubFit. There'll be a link in the description below.